Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Well today I'm checking out the Alpha Carbine in 22LR. Now uh, most of you would have seen my previous review on the uh, this carbine basically in 357 Magnum. So um, you know I was pretty impressed with a lot of the features there. So me loving rim fires, I couldn't help myself. I just had to uh, get a hold of one of the 22s and give it a go. So here it is. If you haven't seen the other review guys, I'll still run through the features and everything on uh, this review so you know you know all about it. First of all, let's show you what it comes with. Obviously it comes with the manual here. Don't get confused about the uh, revolver on the front because look, this is basically what it is. It's a revolver just with a longer barrel and a stock uh, fixed to it. So as you can see, there's a few technical details and uh, you can see what it looks like. Also too, it comes with a test target. Now this test target is shot at a distance of 20 meters. Okay, so um, they do say it with the factory, which is quite interesting, that their test targets aren't shot for accuracy. They are just shot to show that the obviously the firearm is working and functioning safely before it leaves the factory. Now just as it does with the 357 Magnum, with the 22, it comes with a cleaning kit here. You do also have a replacement rear sight and front sight. You've got the cleaning rod. You've got a uh, cloth uh, fabric brush. You've also got your uh, bronze brush there. And you've got a uh, nylon brush as well. So pretty much everything you need to uh, get you started. The carry case it comes with too is just a um, hard carry case, uh, soft internal. So you've got a nice case, nice and compact to take with you to the range or uh, out recreationally shooting. So let's jump in and have a look at it. Um, as you can see guys, obviously there's no ammunition anywhere uh, in or near the uh, rifle. I'll give you a run by of it. Yeah, just lovely finish, just as it was with the 357 Magnum, that nice checkered finish. And when we get to about here, it does, it's just a revolver. Now, rear stock on it is just a nice sort of uh, polish well, yeah, kind of polished uh, sort of finish to it. Just really, really nice overall. I quite like it. Now, being in uh, 22, obviously, we're going to have a little bit more capacity. So this is actually a uh, nine shot. Okay, so great. I mean, plenty of uh, rounds there just to plink with, have a bit of fun. Or if you're out there, you're using it for hunting, rabbits, that, that sort of stuff. Just perfect. The uh, overall length of it is exactly the same as what the 357 Magnum was, just a tad over 75 centimetres, which is perfect for us here in Queensland, because if it was under 75 centimetres, it'd be classed as a pistol, and then therefore we'd have to have a pistol licence to have it. So it is only Category A here in uh, Queensland. It'd be the same in other states, I would imagine. If you are worried, and I did address this in the 357 Magnum review, guys, but I'll say it again here. If you're worried about the uh, barrel length of this, because they are only 12 inches, okay, so that's just a tad over 30 centimetres. I believe Victoria, South Australia have um, restrictions on actual barrel lengths for their uh, rifles. Now, don't worry, a 16 and a half inch uh, barrel version will be coming out very, very soon, so you won't be left out. The weight of this is 2.3 kilos, okay, or uh, five pounds pretty much. So a nice lightweight carbine that you can walk around with all day and just not get weighed down. It does have an adjustable uh, rear sight there. It's just exactly the same as the 357, okay, identical. It, you can adjust it for elevation and windage. Now, Alpha, you know, they are in the historic rifle making town of Bruno in uh, uh, CZ, Czech Republic, okay, so. If this thing shoots anywhere near like uh, other CZ-22s I've shot, I will be very, very happy, um, you know, just with the overall quality and everything. Now, um, what else can I tell you about it? Um, we can shoot it, obviously, in double action, single action. I'll run into that here again, guys, so those of you who are new to shooting can see what I'm talking about. Single action means just pulling the hammer back there and then firing. Double action means simply just pulling the trigger Okay, the hammer comes back and then drops forward on a, um, on a new round in the cylinder. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Exactly the same with the 357, and I'm sorry if I keep comparing it, guys, but um, there are guys out there who have seen the previous review and will want to know this. Okay, identical with a couple of security features, okay? You can't just go and cut it down 
uh, if you take the stock off and everything, you've actually got proper steel going all the way through, which is part of the actual frame on this carbine, okay? So identical in that way. Nice blue, um, well, really, it almost looks matte black, really, in, to the naked eye, but a blued finish on it. And just an overall feel of quality. I, I, I actually don't mind these, um, the, well, the look of them as well. I actually don't mind it. A lot of people really detest it, and hey, we're all different. But uh, I don't mind it at all. As with the 357 as well, we can just add the uh, aftermarket Weaver base on there, okay? It's roughly about $99 retail, but uh, I think I addressed it in the last review there. If you do um, want a cheaper one, I think there's one being manufactured here in Australia shortly, okay? So it should be about half the price, so definitely affordable. So you've just got to take off the rear sight, put the base on, and then obviously you can uh, mount you know, a weaver, um, you know, weaver rings and stuff on there, no dramas at all. All right, guys, well, uh, the overall price of this one is uh, $1,365, okay? Obviously, it's still imported by Pro Tactical, just as the 357 Magnum was. So, you know, they've got uh, like, you know, two, 300 outlets, something like that in Australia. It's, it's ridiculous, their uh, dealer network. So go into your local dealer there, um, have a look at one. If they don't have one, ask them to get one in and you can have a look at one up close. All right, guys, let's get out and jump into this review. I'm ultra keen to uh, see how the little 22 performs. All right, so what we'll do here, guys, is we've got six different types of 22 ammo. Um, what we'll do is nine shot groups at 50 yards to see which one the Alpha Carbine shoots the best with. And then I'll get rid of the scope and then I'll sight it in for a red dot because if you caught my 357 Alpha Carbine review, I use the scope as well. It looks silly on this setup, but it's just for the purpose of seeing which ammunition shoots the best. So we'll start off with the SK uh, high velocity. That's a 40 grain uh, hollow point. Then we'll go to uh, the standard Norma 22 long range training. Now that's just a 40 grain solid. Then Cellier and Bellet have got a 38 grain high velocity hollow point. We'll jump to the uh, CCI standards, which are a 40 grain solid then up to um, CCI Velocita, which is a hyper velocity 40 grain hollow point. And then we'll go back to the uh, Winchester power points, just the standard 40 grain hollow point there. So we'll put uh, nine rounds um, down range because obviously the cylinder holds nine here in the Alpha carbine. And as I say, at 50 yards in, we'll see which one performs the best.
So we'll start first of all with the uh, SK High Velocity. It started to sort of look like it was coming into group nicely, but we just seem to have a couple of flyers. However, that seems pretty consistent throughout all the different types of ammo. But anyhow, we'll measure it. It's about two inch spread there, okay? 2.1 inches. So yeah, not impressed with that. I was hoping that it'd stay within that cluster there, and then we would have had an inch. You know, which really you've got to remember, this isn't a bench gun, it really is just a 12 inch revolver isn't it so not too bad okay then when we come down to the uh, normal training ammo same sort of thing started to cluster a bit but then spread now hopefully I've got all the right ones here the right hole so we got about 1.8 inches there so that seems to be sort of the average doesn't it with the accuracy However, when we come down to cellular and bellet, now this is the first time I've used a cellular and bellet high velocity 22 ammo. We've got the majority of the shots all in just one ragged hole, which is just fantastic. But then to measure it, we come in at about 1.4 inches there. If we'd stayed within the jagged hole, we would have been at 0.8 of an inch, which is pretty impressive out of a 12 inch revolver, like I say. Then when we come up to the uh, CCI standards, now a bit confused here, I'd have to have a look at the video again guys. The CCI velocitors down here really sort of spread. Okay, I know there was one extremity there. So we've got, you know, like three or oh, two and a half, sorry, inches there. So definitely wouldn't recommend them. But when we come to the CCI stand, I'm not sure which is which there. Like I say, I'll have to have a look at the video. But yeah, you know, we've got about 1.2 inches. About 1.2 inches there, maybe 1.4 if that, that one was from the CCI standard. So definitely not too bad for a little bit of a plinker or a training round. Then as I say when we come down the CCI Velocitor, no go there, definitely spread terribly. But then the Winchester power points, I thought we were going okay, but then we started to have a little bit of um, spread. So we've got about a two inch spread there. Okay, so really, from what I've seen here, my favorite is definitely going to be the cellular and bellet high velocity. That's what I'll sight the red dot into. And then if I wanted just a cheap sort of plinking round, the uh, CCI standards would be perfect there. Anyhow, let's get it sighted in for that red dot now. Okay guys, so we got the red dot on. Definitely looks the part, doesn't it? Just a nice lightweight little carbine setup. Got the uh, cellar and bellet, they seem to shoot the uh, best, so let's put uh, nine rounds in it. We've got a target, just a wild dog target out there at 50 yards, so I'll aim pretty much just right at the heart and we'll just see where this is shooting and what sort of group we can get. And if we need to make some adjustments, we'll go from there and do it. Funny isn't it guys, I seem to shoot better with a red dot than a scope. You know, like you look at that, what a great little nine shot cluster that is. I mean, all I'm doing with the red dot is basically, you know, it's taking up that part there. So it just needs to come probably up a couple of clicks and over to the left a couple of clicks. But let's have a measure of it. Okay, so we got 1.4 inches there. Okay, if we didn't have that that shot there would have been just under an inch, 0.9 of an inch. You know, really guys, what more can you ask for with that type of rifle? I mean, like I've said, and I'll say it again, it's not a bench rest rifle. This is a hunting, walk around, lightweight rifle for in the scrub. And I'm really, really happy with that. So I'm just gonna bring it up a couple of clicks over to the left, uh, maybe just one or two, not far and then uh, we'll put up some cans and have a bit of fun with the carbine. Oh, 
All right, so we just got uh, nine shots in here, guys. So I'm just gonna do a reliability test on this. So we'll see how good the action is. Now, keep in mind, most revolvers have a heavy trigger pull. So, you know, it's not gonna be real easy to be able to get those uh, rapid shots off. But anyhow, we'll see how we go. So as you can see, it just performs flawlessly, doesn't it? There's no sort of jamming or just rough spots at all just in the uh, action of this. I'm actually fairly impressed with these. You know, the, the quality is definitely there. All right, guys, I'll wrap up with my final thoughts on the Alpha Carbine in 22. Very similar thoughts that I had when I reviewed the 357. You do get some blast coming back on your face when you're shooting it. That's probably the biggest and only negative I can think of. In saying that though, when you've got a red dot on it, you can certainly hold your head back further and it's not quite as bad as when you're looking through a scope up closer. So there is a difference there. Accuracy wise, I mean, I'm actually, <laughs> to be quite honest, a little bit shocked. The cellular and Bellet rounds have performed very well out of what really is essentially a 12 inch revolver. That's pretty much it. So if you're looking for a 22 to you know, shoot groups off the bench, this definitely isn't the right rifle setup for you. This is just perfect for getting around here on the farm, going out, doing some uh, pest control, you know, hunting some rabbits or, or whatever. This, this is great. You know, you can just walk around, not get weighed down with it. It's just nice and lightweight. Uh, the quality build on this too, I'm very, very happy with it, just as I was with the uh, 357 Magnum. You've just got that just nice quality feel about it. Just, you know, it's hard to explain, but just when you know something is quality, this has definitely got that quality factor about it. But definitely look at putting a red dot or something on top and you've just got a great little carbine set up. As with the 357 as well, guys, I would like to, uh, me personally, just my own personal uh, preference, I'd prefer like a 16 and a half inch, 20 inch barrel. That's just me. But anyhow, you wanna check one of these out, uh, Pro Tactical import them. So I got mine uh, through Queensland Gun Exchange. They're the local Pro Tactical importer for myself. So go in and check one out in your own time. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. So till next time, we'll catch you then.